Hi guys, it's Moz here and on the workbench today we have the latest release from Airfix's Vintage Classic range. They've brought it back, the Beagle Bassett 206. So guys, a release that was mentioned in 2022 uh, launch from Airfix. They said they were bringing this back and there was some positive responses. And this kit was basically tooled in 1968, released again about five years later in 1973. Put back on the shelf again seven years later in 1980, it was released. And then there was a 36 year gap. And in 2016, it was released, according to Scalemates, as a kit starter. Okay, and, I, and, and the box was like uh, just a white box with a little logo in the side, as you can see on the screen. Uh, but uh, so, you know, 36. So if we don't, if we, dis, if we discount that, 2022, that would make it 42 years from 1980 to 2022 that's 42 years in between the release of the kits proper so i'm going to say that um but still it's uh lovely to see back on our workbenches on you know in model shops and um as i said a lot of people have some really um nice thoughts about building this back in the day i never built it i don't remember it but um it's a kit that i've seen on ebay going for around 30 40 quid um even a little bit more so to see it here is fantastic Let's have a look at the box itself. Side of the box, you've got the um, different bump there. If you want to, in, in different lingo, the warnings. Um, the code for this one is uh, that there, eight, uh, sorry, A0205V, Beagle Bassett 206. Edge of the box, you've got the original Roy Cross box art, which is the same on this side. Side of the box, which is basically where all the information is what you really need to know about. Um, this tool was made in 1968 with uh, Roy Cross, 1968. And it says, enjoy the nostalgia with Airfix Vintage Classic. Um, twin engine, light executive transport and military communications aircraft built by the Beagle Aircraft Company at their Shoreham base. And it had the potential of being a huge global success, but for a number of reasons, would only be built in relatively small numbers, which is a shame. The scheme that you're going to get is the Royal Air Force Transport Command, uh, Royal Air Force Benson, Oxfordshire, England in 1966. So you're getting those decals. Not many paints needed on this one. 11, 24, 22. Well, that's a bit weird. Normally you'd have 22 in before 24, wouldn't they? I don't know. Uh, 11, 22, 24, 33, 53 and 166. Doesn't come with paints or glues. You have to buy them yourself. Skill level one. So we have to see on that. And Airfix flying hours. You'll get one. So if you are an Airfix club member, you can collect these and get a free kit. So anyways, let's get a knife and let's open the box and see what we get inside. Uh, as per normal, you get a bag of sprues, instructions, and you get this decal sheet. And if I'm right, it's cartograph again. So cartograph decals, so they always go for the best. Let's have a little look. Um, it's kind of one option, but there seems to be lots of different numbers there. So I suppose you can pick or choose which numbers you want. Uh, as I say, you've got um, XS766, XS768, uh, and XS769. So there's uh, numerous options there. You've got the blue go faster stripes there, obviously. Um, you've got some nice um, cockpit there. You've got a little first aid sort of red cross there, no step. Clearly showing you no step there if you're getting close. You can see that no step. Nice writing on there. Lots of little um, um, stencil work there. And it says at the bottom, Royal Air Force Transport Command. Brilliant. And then caution, power operated door. So some nice decals there to start the old uh, build with let's go to the instructions now with vintage classics they don't spend a lot of time on the instruction they don't redo them normally you get like one of the, the later versions of the instructions so assuming this is for like uh, 19 um oh hang on i tell a lie they look like they've been updated there you go you see that totally surprised me they look a bit more updated these um explosive view exploded view 
So again, you've got some glass to go in, a bulkhead there at the back, some glass there, some seats, um, a floor, two pilots, and looks like uh, that's what your cockpit, your dashboard there, a couple of yokes and some glass in the front. So that's really where you're at. Put the two fuselage halves together. So we're looking at um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen pieces there to get you started. Put them, and then you're then putting the wings together and the nacelles, a little bit of the engine there and the props. They all come together, and the rudder there on the back, underneath on this page here. You're basically putting in the undercarriage parts. Um, I think there's some glass lights there. So you've got port and starboard lights. You paint them red or green, whatever you want, or white, whatever. Um, and then you've got the uh, undercarriage there for... Well, that's it. So it's one two-piece undercarriage there, two, you know, two doors and a section there. And that's basically it, really. So, yeah, not too, not, not too difficult. Um, but yeah, how many pieces are in this kit again? So I should have told you how many pieces are in there. 47, so only under 50 pieces on this one. So pretty easy to build, nice and easy to do. So yeah, quite interesting. Nice call out here of where the decals go. So you've got your colors, you've got your silver, your gloss white, your matte yellow. I don't know why they're the other way around. I thought it would have been 11, 22, 24. So Matte black 33, gunmetal 53, and light aircraft grey 166. So, um, I'm just trying to look for the uh, number 11 on the end there, and then 33 for your matte black. And the 22, you've got a choice, looks like, because you've got your um, question mark, so you've got a choice. So, 166, so it's aircraft grey, wings, and under underbelly. And then the fuselage is all white, black on the nose there. So, yeah, it's quite a simple one. Quite a lot of decals to go on or stencil data there as well. And, yeah, pretty good. Can't see much more to say than that, fairer than that. So there's that done. Let's get to the actual ingredients of what you need. So let's get the old bag open and let's have a look inside. Oh, that's not looking too bad, is it? Just looking now. So remember, this was only released five or six times. So the tooling would not have had a lot of use, I don't suppose. Um, just put it together here. Just have a quick dry fit. That's not looking too bad, is it? You know, mojo build for everyone. Weekend build for people. A little bit of filler there, but it's not looking too bad myself. So I say it's, um, there's no recessed power lines on here. It's all raised. So you feel the rivets there. So it's quite a chunky rivet there underneath yeah i don't see it be too much hard work to build this a little bit of sanding down on the join there just to hide that little join nothing too drastic yeah looking pretty good and not a lot of flash a little bit of flash there obviously you're gonna get a little bit of flash in these but uh yeah even the you see the little nose bit there goes together nice so yeah brilliant not looking too bad there fx pilots crumbs look at them pilots they're not looking too bad are they that's look, there you go they're twerking obviously and uh they're you know they've got the hand one hand out to hold the yoke but yeah nothing not too too much work involved there a little bit of flash around the doorway there one of them is that the door or something two props obviously a little bit of a sand up no, nothing too drastic there there's the yokes made a little bit of work on the yokes they look a little bit thin there there's, i think it must be like a like a rail or something um yeah not looking too bad that's not a bad not a bad kit for being was it 60 years old was it 1968 50 yeah nearly 60 years old on this kit so that's a good start on that one moving on there's the rudder there at the back some detail there um you see a little bit of release agent on here so you have to give it a clean up so i'll put it you know give it a good soapy bath give it a good soapy wash on this one again raised panel lines or rivets on there Bulkhead, you know, injection, we won't see that anyway. But injection-wise, not many, not much on the injection. Little bit of detail there on the seats, as you can see. So, yeah, could probably paint them up looking nice. Wheels look fine. A little bit of flash there, but nothing too too drastic. So, yeah, little jockey wheel at the back. So, yeah, not looking too bad. I think that is the dash there. So, I'm assuming, yeah, the dash, and you put your, 
your decal on there. Brilliant. Not too bad. And finally, you've got the wings. And there's no said, look at that. Perfect, really. Numbered on there, 24, 29. And on this one here, just, just I don't know if you can put it together because you've got a bit in the middle, but just have a quick look how they fit. So they slot in at the end there. Doesn't seem to be many. There's no in pins as such on this one. So yeah, just bolt them to, you know, glue them together. That's it. So yeah, no, uh, no injection pin marks. I'm uh, sorry, no inject location pins. Sorry, no location pins. Oh, so there is. There are two there. Just two there. One, two, and uh, and there's and there's the two little. Uh, Holes there for putting the gearing in. So it should be a simple gearing system to put in there. Little bit of a ledge there so you can put your um, uh, your doors there for the undercarriage, the flap sort of thing. So yeah, really good. Can't say fairer than that, can we? Looking like it's going to be a pretty nice, easy build for a weekend. Quick look at the glass. No, look at that. That's not bad, is it? Can't say fairer than that. The glass is looking pretty good. Just give that little dip in the uh, Humbro, um, Humbro Clear. And I think you'll get some good good results there. They're not looking too bad even for the lights. There's not going to need much work on these. Obviously not. So there you go. And there's the glass. Yeah, definitely a mojo build, if I may say so. And so there you go. That was an unboxing and a review of the latest addition to the Airfix Vintage Classic range, this Beagle Bassett 206. I'll leave a link in the description below uh, to buy this kit and also I'll put it in the comments as well. So if you want to buy this kit, it's available on Airfix now. So go out and buy it. Okay. Um, well, that's my recommendation anyway, but you don't have to, obviously. But if you do, just try that link and it'll take you to the Airfix website. I think that's basically it. Any questions, any comments? Are you, would you be interested in building this kit? Has this kind of helped you sway yourself into bringing out a classic in you and building it? Let me know in the comments below. And if you don't, let me know in the comments too. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Ring that bell, select all, and you'll be notified when I release a new video. If you want to become a channel member, click the join button below. On the screen are the names of people who help me with this channel by donating. Help me to buy these models so I can review. And if you want to become part of that, just click join and membership starts from $1.99. That's it, folks. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers.